Hey everyone, today is the ninth annual walkthrough of the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Catalog and my recommendations to you. If you are new here, I started on YouTube nine years ago, 2015. I was the first one to do a Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Catalog walkthrough and I am here nine years later tweaking it a little bit. They have brought the catalog back last year, they took it away. It was a little underwhelming. What's new in the last few years is that Nordstrom has released the full inventory of what will be on the sale already on their website. They're over 6,000 pieces. And I have been glued to my office chair going over all 6,000 plus items and I've boiled it down in this video to my absolute top recommendations. Now this video is not the full list of my recommendations. I do have all my recommendations housed over on my website on missgoldgirl.com. All the recommendations on one page and then if you are just more interested in a specific category, I have them broken down by category as well and I will put all the links to all the things down in the description box and also pinned to the top of the comments so it is easy for you to find. If you are new or you are unfamiliar with the Nordstrom anniversary sale, what makes it extra special is that Nordstrom puts on sale new, brand new pieces that are for the upcoming season, fall, winter items specifically, and not only releases them in July, but releases them at 40% off. So this is the time to grab fall and winter staple pieces, which brings me to a couple of housekeeping items and then we can get to the recommendations. Number one, let's not get carried away with how fun this is to do the window shopping and look at all the recommendations. Remember, everyone has a budget, set yours, and stick to it. Everyone has a budget. Nobody can go out and buy all the things they want. And maybe their budget is none of these things. And that is okay. There is plenty of other content that I will share with you at more budget and affordable prices. Let's just have fun with the sale. That's the first thing. Secondly, you're probably wondering, when do I get to shop this thing? Well, the anniversary sale is broken down into two phases. The first few days are for Nordstrom credit card holders only, and then it opens up to anyone who wants to shop. I'll put those dates on the screen and have them down in the description box below. Let me also tell you what I will not be recommending this year or honestly any year. These pieces specifically that they feature in the anniversary sale are meant to be for the most part, I think, wardrobe basics, wardrobe building blocks, if you will. This is not the place for statement pieces that you wear once and you never pull out of your closet again. So when you first start glancing through all this or you're seeing my recommendations, you're probably thinking, these are pretty basic, these are pretty neutral, these are pretty boring. Well, when you're spending this much money, even though they're 40% off, these are pieces you wanna reach for year after year, season after season, and that's why I pick what I pick. It's not a one and done thing. I am wearing things from years past. These are multiple years old, we'll get to those in a minute. So that is the focus of the anniversary sale. The other thing I'm not gonna recommend, anything that I think is very similar or of the same quality or better at Walmart or Amazon or another affordable retailer, I'm not gonna recommend just because it's here in the sale. Save your money, get it there. That being said, I have a ton of things, so I hope you are sitting with a beverage of your choice, somewhere comfortable, let's dive into all the recommendations. We're gonna start with clothing, but stick around to the very end because I did pick out a few specific splurge items that are still very expensive even at the sale price, but I think if you are in the market for these things are definitely worth a look. So if you're that kind of shopper, I have you covered as well. All right, let's just start out with clothing. And remember, we're looking at fall and winter pieces, which is a very weird thing to think about when it's 90 something degrees outside. But first, let's talk about this Nick and Zoe tweed jacket. So this is the kind of piece I'm talking about. It is beyond trends. You're gonna pull this out and throw this over a basic tank and a pair of jeans. You're gonna throw this over a neutral colored dress. You're gonna reach for this as an everyday jacket or as an accessory to a full outfit. It's just one of those things. I like that this piece in particular, sort of a hybrid between a blazer, a coat, and a cardigan. It's multi-use and it's a really great fabric. Next on my list is this Treasure and Bond Dark Wash Denim Blazer. I am so excited about this piece because it is a much more sophisticated twist on the denim jacket. So if you're the kind of girl that reaches for a denim jacket to throw over a sundress, any kind of dress, like as a fall kind of wardrobe staple, why not try this 
dark wash denim blazer. Same concept, a little more tailored, a little more sophisticated, but still pretty casual. And Treasure and Bond did release a pair of dark wash kind of trouser denim to go with this if you want like the full suit look, but I think the standout piece is this denim blazer. I have a lot more cardigans and blazers to recommend, so don't forget to check the description box if you wanna go dive a little bit deeper into that category. Would it be a Nordstrom anniversary sale without grabbing a pair of Spanx faux leather leggings? I think not. I have them in two sizes so that no matter where my weight fluctuates, I can squeeze myself into one of them. I have them in small, and then when my weight was a little bit bigger, I got them in medium. If you are five foot four or shorter, I would definitely recommend the petite length. That is what I have. And they can be very casual, worn with a sweatshirt or you know more athleisure wear, but because they're a faux leather, you could also dress them up and wear them out at a date night with maybe some high heel booties, over the knee boots, a really cool top and a blazer, and it's a whole other look. I'm gonna go on and recommend some premium denim later in this video, but I did wanna point out that one of my all time number one best selling recommendations, the NY DJ Marilyn straight leg jeans, are back in the sale. They were my number one most sold item, I think two, maybe three years ago. They are back, they are available in both regular length and petite, and NYDJ is another brand that runs very, very long. So I'm just at five foot four and I prefer the petite length, and I do recommend going one size down from your true size, because they run very, very big. I have quite a few sweaters in my sweater category, but the one I'm gonna focus on here is this cable knit tunic from Free People. I have it sitting on my wish list. I'll be purchasing it the day that I can shop. I am debating between this beautiful pink color that is a very standout shade, or do I go for a color that I'm gonna wear over and over in my heart? I know I'm probably gonna reach for the white. I don't think you can go wrong with any of the color options. I just like that this is a traditional concept, a tunic length cable knit sweater, but the pattern is a little different. The length and the edging on the on the hem is a little bit different. It's just a staple that's just a little bit more. Lately, I've been finding myself gravitating towards putting some more dressy shirts in my cart when I'm shopping the Nordstrom anniversary sale because I load up on everyday stuff from Walmart and Amazon. So there are a few that I wanna recommend and these will work well for a date night situation or if you're in a work environment, I think you'll be reaching for some of these as well. So the first one I wanna mention is this halogen plaid wrap front blouse. So if you look at the blouse, I love how they tuck it in so that wrap stays flat. And it is a pattern. It's not completely basic, but it's nothing that screams, look at me, look at me. I think it is beautiful. I love the two colors that are in it. I think you're going to get a lot of wear out of this. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with slacks or a skirt, dress it up a bit. Another one that I'm super excited about and cannot decide which color, but I'm leaning towards the navy is this tonal plaid blouse from Vince Camuto. The navy is sort of a lighter navy. It's a beautiful color. It also comes in a wine and a black, absolutely gorgeous. And again, something you can wear if your life is more casual like mine, or if you have to dress a little more formal for work, you're gonna get a lot of wear out of this. And then for the casual people, and I'm looking at one right here. I mean, I always have some sort of chambray or denim shirt handy. I'm always recommending them. This one from Caslon will sell out. The price is fantastic. It's a gorgeous length. I think everyone needs a good chambray shirt in their closet. Again, this can double almost like a jacket without the heaviness of a denim jacket. So if you don't have a chambray shirt in your closet, snatch this one up. And then this top kind of leans more into the splurge category, but I love the Rails Hunter plaid button-up shirts. This is a similar one. This is from Treasure and Bond. This is actually also in the sale and listed on my tops category over on my website. But the one I'm most excited about and recommending here are the ones from Rails because they're already pretty expensive. You're getting them for a pretty good discount. And especially if you live in a warmer climate and you're not dealing with frozen tundra type winters, this is the kind of shirt that looks like a flannel, drapes more like viscose, so you're not gonna get overheated. And you can start wearing it in the fall all the way through the winter because it's not too warm to wear, but you're not gonna freeze wearing it either. It's like a chameleon. It does run a little small, a little narrow in the shoulders, a little narrow in the bust, so I would size up one. I am 
usually a small in most tops, 34D, and I wear a medium in the Rails Hunter shirts. I have three dresses on the top of my list. Of course, I have many more over on my website. The first one is the Steve Madden shirt dress that I guarantee you is gonna sell out because first of all, this price, under $60 for this dress, the colors, the cut, it is just a fun dress. I personally am leaning towards the more olive green one. You can wear it with knee high or over the knee boots. You can wear it with booties. You can wear it with heels if you're wearing it more to a more conservative environment. I love everything about this and the price, amazing. Another one that I think is just gonna be one of those pieces that you reach for year after year for a variety of scenarios is this coat dress from Halogen. It is a better than basic black dress. It is so versatile. It's the dress you're gonna reach for when you have a more formal thing to attend and you're not quite sure what to wear. If you are going to a funeral, it's one of those things. You, I know it's gruesome and morbid to talk about, but you need to have one of those kind of dresses in your closet because it's not like you plan for those things to attend. So this is one of those dresses you can grab if you have a funeral. If you're like me and you'll be attending high holiday services this fall, this is a great dress for services. If you work in a more corporate environment, this is a great dress. But what's especially great about this dress is that it can double as a long line cardigan because the whole thing unbuttons and you can wear it as a cardigan over a tank in more skinny type jeans, joggers, etc. You can get a lot of wear out of this and it's under basically $66. So it's two pieces for the price of, well, less than one. And then the last dress that I'm gonna recommend is one I already own. It's from Eliza J and I have worn it to a variety of events and will wear it again this fall more than likely. This beautiful sheath dress has a little bit of a ruffle sleeve, comes into gorgeous colors, a navy and the more wine toned. I have the wine one. What's great about this is it is fitted at the waist. It has some shape to it, beautiful zipper up the back. My favorite part, other than the really pretty bow, pockets, pockets. It is outstanding, runs true to size. I'm usually a size four in most dresses and I'm a size four in this one, in my current measurements, which I should have mentioned, I will list at the top so that of the description box, not the top of the screen, so that it'll help you figure out what your sizing may be. As far as loungewear, pajamas, and intimates, there are a ton of things, but I'm trying to keep this video under an hour. So at the top of my list for loungewear, the thing I am most excited about in this entire sale, to be honest, is this lounge set from Barefoot Dreams. I work from home, I am mostly sitting in front of a computer so I don't have to get dressed, but I don't necessarily wanna be wearing pajamas all day. This loungewear set makes me feel like when I wear it, I'm gonna be in some sort of old glamor movie. It's just luscious. I have other sets from them that I adore wearing once the temperature drops. I love that this one has pockets. I love the color options. I personally am drawn to the more taupey driftwood color, I believe it's called. This would make an outstanding gift for someone. It is sitting in my cart. Or on my wish list. I would be remiss if I did not mention that one of my all time bestsellers is back in the sale and they are the Notori bras. They are beautiful, they are underwire, so if you're looking for wireless bras, I have a few of those, especially the True Co ones, those are in the sale as well, but check on the individual category link to get into all of those recommendations. But I did wanna mention that the Notori bras are back in the sale. I love mine, I've had mine for close to a decade. They haven't stretched out. They still lift everything up, they're outstanding. And I wanna mention probably the world's most popular strapless bra, the Wacol red carpet strapless bra is in the sale and I have linked it below. Moving on to outerwear, a category I am weirdly excited about for someone who lives in a pretty temperate climate. These are where the basics really stand out. So if you don't already have a trench coat, just a basic double-breasted trench coat, this is where you grab them. And I have to say my favorite outerwear brand is Sam Edelman and the Sam Edelman trench coat is outstanding. It's also water resistant. So it's a much more sophisticated option for a raincoat. You can just wear this as your fall coat. You don't have to be wearing a dressy outfit to throw that on. It looks very cool over a white t-shirt and jeans and sneakers as well. Two other coats that I think everyone needs to have in some color in their closet, either a camel or black or both. First, again from Sam Edelman, is this double-breasted pea coat. I prefer the camel shade, but it comes in a few other neutrals as well. I love the length on it. It's slightly below the hip, so it doesn't cut you off right at your widest point. It is beautifully made. I have a Sam Edelman longer wool blend coat that I have worn for years. It is my go-to. They don't have that one in the sale, but I do recommend another one. It is a double-breasted 
wool blend coat and I am eyeing picking it up in black because I already have one in camel and then I feel like I'm covered for all the things that I will need for a warm coat in the winter. Now shoes, I could sit here all day long. Shoes and beauty, we could be here for days, but I'm gonna try to keep it to just a few. So first of all, I love a riding boot. I adore a riding boot. And again, it's a classic silhouette that you can wear in so many ways. And this year there is a born riding boot. I love the color. I love the way the hardware and the zippers are. So that is at the top of my list for boots. Also, I know that the ballet shoe trend is back in a big way. I don't think it looks particularly flattering on most people, especially if you carry more of your weight from the waist down or if you have shorter legs, but I love these ballet cap toe slip-on sneakers that are more of a pointed toe. And because it's not a true, true flat, there's a little bit of a, not a wedge, but there's a little bit almost of a platform or a sneaker sole to the shoe. It gives you a little bit of height. I am so excited about these shoes. They do come in two other, like an all black, uh, like an ivory or white and black, but I love the camel and the black toe cap. Very excited about that. And then lastly, another one I think is gonna sell out every year. There's the booty, like the shoe, and this is it. It is the Steve Madden pointed toe booty. And there are quite a few colors to choose from. I'm always gonna go for that Nubuck color. I just think it goes with all the things and it's the one shoe I generally wear all year round. I have worn my Steve Madden booties, I think from either last year or year before, pretty much to death. So I think it might be time to add another one to my wish list as well. Hang in there if you're here for the beauty, it's coming, but I do wanna to touch upon a few accessories. First of all, a good leather belt. There are a couple in the sale that I'm going to list down in the description box. I think they are a great, they're not even an investment. I believe they're under $50. So it's hard to find just a good basic leather belt that doesn't have all the branding and all the stuff. So I'm really excited to see this one particular one in the sale. Another accessory I'm personally very excited about always are purses. And I would say this year, it's not a huge extensive list, but there's two really good standouts. The first is from Cole Haan. It's a leather shoulder bag that you can also wear crossbody. I think the whip stitching on it is stunning. Comes in two colors, like an ivory and more of a rich brown. Very excited about the rich brown tan. I think it looks super expensive. It's under $200, I think it's right around 165. The other one is from All Saints. All Saints is known to be a really good quality leather handbag. I have one from previous sales. I just love the idea that this is a square crossbody instead of a more oblong one that we generally see. I just like that it's a twist on something different and it's a great everyday handbag and the, this sort of camel color, nude color that it comes in is gonna go with all of the things that you wear. So again, I wanna recommend something that isn't just pretty, but is useful and can be worn with a variety of things. And I wanna briefly touch upon a couple of jewelry recommendations. First of all, all the Kendra Scott. All the Kendra Scott that's in there, it's 40% off, snatch it up. It's better than what you're gonna find over at Kendra Scott, the actual retailer. The other favorite thing I wanna mention are the Nordstrom CZs, the cubic zirconias, the faux diamonds, if you will. I love the studs. So I got these a few years ago. These are in the sale. They also have the halo option this year. I might add that to my cart as well. Anytime they offer a new version in the sale, I snatch it up and these make great holiday gifts as well. Really, really good price point. Okay, beauty. It's where my heart is. It's where this channel started. And like I said, I could do a whole video on it. I'm not gonna do that. I do have quite an extensive list over on my website. I'm gonna just hit the high points here. First of all, the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray Duo. It's what I use to set my makeup every day. It's going in my cart. It's a fantastic price. Secondly, the Luxaten Almond Shower Oil and the Refill. Let me tell you how long lasting this is. I bought this last year. I am just now reaching for the refill. I don't use it to wash my body. I use it to shave my legs. A little goes a long way. It's a shower oil. It means it's meant to be used in the shower. So while it's slick and makes the razor glide on your legs, it also emulsifies when it hits water. So it's not gonna leave the floor of your shower or bathtub slippery at all. It just rinses off 
like soap. It is an excellent, excellent purchase. Also, there's always one eyeshadow palette I'm getting excited about. It's usually from Bobbi Brown or from Laura Mercier. This year it's from Bobbi Brown. I love all the neutral colors from this eyeshadow palette. Really nice wearable selection. Bonus that it comes with a mascara. That is great. But speaking of Laura Mercier, again, would it be a, an anniversary sale without some caviar shadow sticks? It would not. So this year's caviar stick trio, definitely recommend. I love the colors. It comes with Eau Naturelle, which is just a matte sort of almond shade, and then two gorgeous shimmer shades. I believe it's rose gold and amethyst, both of which I own. If you're someone who doesn't want to fuss, just draw it all over, take your finger and smudge it. You're done. One and done, out the door. Love, love, love them. I also really like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette that they're offering this year. They usually offer something from this line, and I think that the highlighter, bronzer, and blush in this is a they're all very wearable and will work across quite a few skin tones, so I'm excited to see that. And then I have to mention the Silk Super Skinny Scrunchies. That's what I used to sleep in every single night to pull my hair up. I am a warm sleeper. I have fine hair and it slides out of everything that I put it up in except these little skinny scrunchies. So if you are dealing with the same problem as me, you need to check these out. And at, I think it's 40 something dollars for a 10 pack, that is an amazing, Price. Just a few home items I want to recommend. Every year I grab the Nest Reed Diffuser Duo. They last a full year. I keep one in my powder bath and they make the whole room smell lovely. Grapefruit and bamboo and it's great to just have on hand as a gift for the holiday season when that comes up. Speaking of that, have to recommend the Bliss Plush Throw. I recommend it every year. It's always been a bestseller but this year, they have marked it down to $19.99. It used to be 20 something, now it's $19.99. Yes, you can go grab the Barefoot Dreams blanket if you're into that. I get it. I've also found quite a few dupes over on Amazon, so I'm like on the fence about recommending the Barefoot Dreams, but the Bliss Plush Cozy Throw, $19.99. Especially if you have someone or know someone that is leaving for college next month, this makes a great going away present. And if you are still here, you are my luxury lovers. Big ticket items, premium denim is definitely where the Nordstrom anniversary sale stands out. And last year's number one seller was from AG Jeans, for me, not for the whole Nordstrom brand. The AG ex-boyfriend jeans, they have them back in the sale in a different version from last year. So I'm gonna link those below. I personally think they run a little bit small, so I usually size up one from my true size. Another AG jean that I want to try this year because yes, it's pricey, but it's even more, it's well over $200 when it's full price is the AG Mari ankle slim jeans. They're not quite a skinny jean and because they're an ankle cut, especially if you're petite like me, they're going to hit you just right. You're probably not going to need to hem them. Another very popular premium denim brand is Mother Jeans and I haven't purchased any yet, but I think this is the this is the time of year to do it. The, they have the Hustler ones, which are probably the most popular style from Mother Jeans. I'll list those below. And then also one that stood out to me is called the Ditcher Crop Jeans. Both of those I think would work really well with booties for the fall. Something that I am really excited about, this is probably the biggest splurge for me, is from Syncacept, a brand I've always admired but never pulled the trigger on, and they featured a navy tweed frayed sleeve blazer. I think it is stunning, and I will just tell you that there was a minor glitch the day the preview went live, and for about almost two hours, People were able to add items to the cart and check out at sale price, and I bought this. It's on its way to me. They honored the purchases, so that's a little bit crazy. This Sink Set Blazer is definitely a splurge, but it's insanely expensive at its full price, and it's a piece that I know I'm gonna reach for year after year after year. Very excited about that. Another one, I know I have a lot of Eileen Fisher brand fans here. There is a reversible wool and cashmere jacket from Eileen Fisher in the sale. And first of all, wool and cashmere is gonna be expensive. Eileen Fisher is gonna be expensive. The fact that this is about $300, but it's really two jackets in one, that's a really good price point. And they're both shades are colors you can wear with all the things. They're both neutral sides. So I think that is a really good splurge. It's a good allocation of your budget if your budget lies in that direction. And then one more I wanted to mention is from Barber, another brand that is considered a splurge, but something that is long-term. You're gonna wear it for decades. And it is this waterproof long jacket. I don't 
normally recommend Barber in the sale because usually the pieces that are featured are very odd colors and nothing that you would maybe reach for all the time, but I love the dark green that this one comes in. Speaking of dark, is it going to rain? Who knows? This one is a great price for a Barber jacket, so I wanted to recommend it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my ninth annual anniversary sale walkthrough. Please let me know in the comments below, what are you most excited about? Did I mention it? Is there something else you're eyeing? Would you like me to look at some other categories and update that over on my website? Let me know. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you are as excited as I am and I will see you on Sunday for some Amazon content. Thanks guys, see you then.